These are my five most used favorite affordable luxury bags, all under 525 US dollars or 760 Australian dollars. I will be reviewing and styling each of them in this video. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. I don't know about you, but lately I've been really interested in trying out affordable luxury bags that focus really heavily on quality and style without the hefty price points. I guess with the constant huge price increases from the big name designer brands in the last couple of years, I have been really drawn to some of these other designers. These five bags will make up a great capsule collection that will cover most of your life's occasions from casual day bags to dressy evening bags and everything in between such as work and travel without breaking the bank. For each bag, I will share the price, the pros and cons, what I would use the bag for and how I would style them. And I'll pop links to all the bags and outfits in the description section below. So if you're interested in any of my outfits or bags, it'll be super easy for you to check them out. Coming in at number one is my Palen Numero Nerf Mini. This one retails for 520 US dollars or 760 Australian dollars currently. This is a great, unique and stylish everyday bag. It is a beautifully constructed bag. The design details are immaculate. I love all of the folds. You have the top handle for easy grab and go. Also an adjustable and removable shoulder strap. So you can pop it on your shoulder or wear it as a longer crossbody bag. It can also transition pretty well from day to evening because it is on the smaller side. The Numero Nerf bag from Palang comes in two different sizes. This is the smaller out of the two. There is a larger size, which I would consider a more exclusive day bag size. It also comes in an array of beautiful, luxurious looking colors. This one that I have is their beautiful taupe color in this textured leather. It is a great everyday neutral that works with so many different colors. I've had this bag for almost a year now and I have used it quite consistently because of its unique design. I've been really loving how different this bag looks. I do love that Palan has their own original designs. Their styles don't look like they have been inspired by any bigger name designer brands. I also have been pretty happy with Palen's quality overall. This is my only bag from Palen at the moment, but I am definitely keen on adding some more bags from them. The size is pretty good. It's just got that magnetic stud closure. You can fit quite a bit in there, but that leads me to this bag's biggest con and it is the small mouth opening. Even though it's got a nice capacity where you can fit a little more than just your bare minimum essentials, the opening of this bag is pretty cumbersome. I can actually get in and out of it okay, but it's not just the small mouth opening, but also how the handle just sits right on top of the opening and there is not that much space between the top of the handle and the opening of the bag. So that is a big con. I know for a lot of people that may potentially be a deal breaker, but for me, I don't mind a smaller opening as long as I can still get my hands in and out pretty easily, which I can with this one. And in certain situations, that could even be a good thing. If you're in a busy place, you're worried about the security, this sort of a bag opening will keep all your belongings really safe and secure. So I guess it could work in your favor. Another con could be its price point. Palen had a little bit of a significant price increase at the beginning of this year. I am pretty sure last year, this one cost under 600 Australian dollars. I think it converted to something like 570 Australian dollars. So it has seen a pretty hefty price increase. Nevertheless, I think it is still worth the new price point of 760 Australian dollars for all the features that you get, the quality that you get and the beautiful design that you get. So even though there was a significant price jump, I think it is still a well priced bag for what you're getting. Now onto the styling portion. I've paired my Palan bag with the current outfit that I'm wearing today, which is this beautiful full silk bow tie neck blouse and these navy silk pants with the gold button details. The top color works so well with the navy and the cream. I love how this relaxed and flowy silhouette complements the feminine lines of the bag. So this outfit is from Lily Silk who I am collaborating with in this portion of today's video. I've worked with them so many times in the last few years because I really stand behind their quality. This means that I do have a discount code which is ISA20, ISA20 that will give you 20 percent off their website. In case you're new to Lily Silk, Lily Silk does amazing quality clothing and homeware pieces made of high-end materials such as silk and cashmere. I've been wearing and loving their pieces for many many years. So I can tell you from my experience that their pieces do stand the test of time both in terms of quality and style. Their style is very elegant yet modern and quite versatile. Many of their pieces transition so well from day to evening so I will be styling my bags with Lily Silk outfits today and leave links to them in the description section 
description below. Lily Silk also has very exciting news. They are going to be opening up a brand new store in New York City. I wish I lived in New York so I could go and visit their new store when they open. So if any of you guys are from New York, I am jealous. Do go ahead and check their store out once they open so you can see and try out their quality for yourselves. Back to my outfit. I absolutely love this silk turtleneck ribbon blouse. It gives off a very put together yet relaxed look. The silk is very soft and glossy. It feels very smooth on your skin. So very comfortable to wear. It is perfect for the office. You could absolutely dress it for work with some pants or a skirt and also for an evening out. Or you could dress it down with some jeans and style it casually. I love the large bow. This piece runs true to size. So I am wearing my usual size, which is a small. I also really like the sleeve detail, how the corners are angled rather than your typical square corner. It's these little details that give an outfit a high end look in my opinion. So I always love these fine details on my Lily Silk pieces. And the silk trousers that I've paired it with, I'm wearing a size eight Australian, which is a US size four, my true size again. It looks so timelessly elegant. It is high waisted for a flattering fit. I love how stylish and comfortable the wide legs are. Loving the gold button details. The silk trousers also come with a matching three quarter sleeve silk top in the same navy color. The top also has the gold button accents, which is really elegant. Again, this one is made of 100% mulberry silk. I love a good three quarter sleeve top for the trend seasonal months, whether it be spring or autumn. It is again a relaxed fit, so very comfortable to wear. I also find boat neckline really flattering on my figure. You also don't have to get these in a set. So if you just like the top, you can match the top with any of your pants or skirts that you have in your wardrobe and create your own outfit. The next outfit is the silk knitted top with the matching skirt. The texture is very fine, smooth and nice because these knits are crafted from silk fabric and very finely interwoven to give you that very smooth texture. And even though they are technically knitwears, they have their signature silky sheen. So I'm a huge fan of this material. These are so comfortable as they are quite stretchy, but they're still very elegant because of that silky sheen. This material is so breathable and skin friendly, so you can comfortably wear them all day. This outfit is again great to dress up or down by accessorizing them differently. This set also runs true to Size, I am wearing my usual size small. You can also wear this top or the skirt separately and match them with other items in your wardrobe. I also have this navy cardigan in the nautical style, which is so in at the moment. Even Louis Vuitton did a nautical collection just recently. I love the navy color with the brush gold buttons and it has the quilted effect around the edges. This one is made of fine merino wool, which is not irritating to the skin. With wool, you know, it can be quite scratchy and itchy on your skin. I especially have sensitive skin, so I have to be very picky when it comes to woolen pieces. And this one has a very fine texture, so it's not itchy on my skin at all. And it's gentle and soft fibers give it a very luxurious feel. This is another versatile piece where you can create a few different looks with it. You can wear it as a jumper all buttoned up, or you could wear it as an open cardigan. You could dress it down with some jeans. So it is another great versatile piece to have in your wardrobe. And and of course, this one runs true to size. I am wearing my usual size small. So I am really excited that I added more pieces from one of my favorite brands, Lily Silk. I will leave links to my Lily Silk outfits in the description section below, along with my 20% off discount code is a 20. So don't forget to check out Lily Silk. Thank you to Lily Silk for working with me on this video. And as always, thank you guys for making these collaborations possible for my channel. Moving on to the next bag, I have my Strathbury Nano Taupe bag in the croc embossed black leather with the gold toned hardware. The current retail price for this one is 495 US dollars or 715 Australian dollars, which for the quality you get, I think is a really fair price point. This is probably the most dressy bag that I have on my list today. I love using this as an understated evening bag. I love it for those occasions where it's not exactly appropriate to carry a very high end expensive designer bag. Again, a very unique design where you've got one top handle in that traditional shape. The other side of the handle is actually with a metal bar at the top there. And the way you fully close the bag is by overlapping the bar over the handle. 
how different is that and it gives you a very modern look i love the simple and clean lines of this bag i've matched it with the stripe set from lily silk the black stripes tie in the bag beautifully into the outfit it also comes with a detachable shoulder strap it is not adjustable but it drops at a pretty good length for me it also has a magnetic closure you've got two magnets one on each side and the interior is in the beautiful microfiber lining in the blushy nude color there is just one open compartment with one slip pocket it's not the biggest bag by any means but it can still fit enough for a night out for me it does fit my phone which is an iphone 15 pro not the max it fits pretty comfortably if you do have a larger phone i don't think that you'll be able to but most of the time let's be honest we are carrying our phones in our hands when a mini bag fits our phone that's a nice bonus but if it doesn't fit I mean, it's probably not the end of the world for a lot of us. I feel like some of these more affordable luxury designers have even more original and unique styles compared to the high-end designers where they all have similar styles to each other. I mean, even my Palam bag looks very original and unique. Oh, and this bag even has metal feet to protect the bottom bit of the leather. Even some very expensive designer bags don't come with the metal feet. So I am actually thoroughly impressed by Strathbury's quality. I've had this bag for probably around three years now, and it is a bag that I do use quite consistently on evenings out. Like I say, when I don't feel like carrying a very expensive high-end designer bag, I guess the only con to this bag would be its size. It is quite a mini bag. So if you're someone who doesn't like to downsize too too much on a night out then this bag might just be a little too small for you the sides also curve in so you really don't have that much space on the inside it does come in a midi size and a regular large size but I feel those bags are more day bags for me personally those larger sizes will be a little bit too boxy it's a very structured style I do like my larger bags to be a little softer so they don't feel so bulky so my favorite size in this Strathbury tote is definitely this nano size. Next up is my beloved Demelier Vancouver bag in this off-white color with the gold hardware. I've talked about this in a number of videos previously already and told you how much I've been enjoying using this bag. This is a really great alternative to similar bags that are priced so much higher like your Hermes Constance bag, even the Celine Triomphe bag which is still on my wish list. But I think this Demelier Vancouver is is a really nice alternative to those bags at such a good price point. This one retails for 525 US dollars or 730 Australian dollars. I feel like this bag represents really good value for money. The leather is really quite beautiful. This one is in the smooth leather. They do do a few different finishes. I've seen the suede ones, which look really amazing as well. And I believe this one now comes in a smaller size as well, which I am interested to add a smaller size Vancouver bag in maybe a darker color for the winter to come here in Australia. Demelia bags are currently so popular. I've said this time and time again, I can totally see why they are so popular with so many fashion enthusiasts. It's got clean lines. It looks Looks very chic. It has an adjustable shoulder strap. You can also double up the strap to make it a shorter shorter bag to give it a more dressy look. Also features these two metal bars which is actually the clasp. You have a little button down the bottom that will open the clasp and the interior is quite generous. It has the black fabric lining so you don't have to worry about getting the interior dirty. It does have a zipper pocket at the back, a slip pocket at the front. So a a very functional bag with just the right amount of organization on the interior. It is such a stylish and modern looking bag that I really love. Because it looks so simple, it's so easy to style with any kind of outfit. I could style this bag with any of the outfits that I showed you today. It looks amazing with the navy top and pants set. It pops beautifully against the darker outfit and I love how the gold buttons complement the gold hardware on the bag really nicely. And it looks looks amazing with the knitted jumper and skirt set. The off-white color just works really nicely with the cream color of this knitted set. 
it's a very versatile bag. It is big enough to work as a day bag, but it's still small enough to carry over as an evening bag. And I especially like getting these bags in the lighter colors. I'm a huge fan of off-white colored bags, but to invest a lot of money into a very light colored, very expensive designer bag sometimes can be a little bit concerning because you'd end up bathing that bag, like my Hermes Kelly 25 Cray. I rarely use that bag, even though I love it, because it is a very expensive light colored bag that I am quite conscious of where I'm carrying it and what I'm wearing with it to prevent color transfer and really ruining the bag. Whereas a bag of this price point, it's just nice to add a color like this where you're not gonna be overly worried about ruining the bag. Of course, it is still a lot of money, 730 Australian dollars, but it's not to a point that you really need to stress too much about it. So if you love lighter colored bags like I do, but you always hesitate on getting a very expensive bag in this kind of a color, then I say, get one of these more affordable luxury bags that will still give you that really luxurious feel at a reasonable price point. Now I've raved on about all the pros to this bag. There are a couple of cons as well. I guess it is a little bit of a bulky style. So if you're very petite or if you're someone who doesn't love the boxy edges, then this bag may not really be for you. It's just a style preference. I definitely feel like it is a little bit bulky when I wear it crossbody, which is why I'm really keen to try out the smaller size because I think that will be the perfect size for this structured silhouette. And the other thing, I think I will have to monitor the wear and tear. I've had this for about four months now. I've used it quite a few times. I've spilled beer on it, like I've mentioned in a previous video, which I wiped off straight away. It was actually at the front of the bag and you actually can't see anything at all. So it did wipe off clean, but since it is a smooth leather and it is in this light color, I do need to monitor the wear and tear and if I do notice any wear and tear in the future after using it for another few months, I will definitely do an update on that. The next couple bags are more casual bags. The first out of the two casual bags is my beloved Longchamp Le Pliage bag in this navy color with the navy leather straps. This is the green version where you've got the green edges and it is in the large size. These Longchamp Le Pliage nylon totes are so popular and very famous for how light Wait, they are how practical they are, how much they fit. They are really the perfect everyday tote for work, for shopping, for travel, just whenever the occasion warrants having a larger tote bag where you need to carry everything with you. This is something like my third Le Pliage tote. I've had one of these totes for the last 10 years, I'd say. It is so carefree. The nylon is completely wipeable outside and inside. So perfect for rainy days. There are a number of sizes you can choose from this is the largest size out of their everyday totes. They do also have travel duffel bag styles and a lot of colors. This tote is pretty timeless. It has been around for many, many years. I remember even 15 years ago when I was at university, this bag was so popular amongst the students. Price is amazing. This large size is currently 285 Australian dollars and 155 US dollars. Longchamp is a very well-known luxury brand based in France and I hear their after sales care is really good as well. I mentioned that with my previous lip pliage tote that I was getting holes in the corners, which is the reason I replaced it with this new one. And one of you guys commented that if you take it back to Longchamp, they can actually repair the corners, which I actually haven't tested it out because it was just a really good excuse for me to get a new one of these. I find that really unbelievable. That is such an amazing aftercare service for the price point that these bags are. Currently, I am really wanting to add another Longchamp piece, you know, the little pouch that you can convert into a bag by buying one of those conversion kits. That is definitely on my wish list because I think it'll be really great to use as an everyday errand running bag. But when you switch into a larger bag, you can just detach the strap and use the whole thing as a little pouch to keep all your necessities in and chuck it into a larger bag. I think it is a genius little item. I just haven't decided on the color, but I am pretty sure I'm going to add that to my collection sometime in the near future. So if you guys are interested, I will share with you what color I end up getting. I could be boring and just add the black one. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am a huge fan of the Longchamp nylon range. And you guys already know this, but you could also fold this up like so and button it up and carry it when you're traveling as an extra tote bag in your suitcase in case you need
need an extra bag, you have this one handy. Now for a couple of cons, I guess the biggest con to this bag is the lack of organization on the inside. So it's basically one huge black hole with one slip pocket at the back. I think you can definitely benefit from having a bag organizer in a bag like this. Otherwise, everything will become a beautiful mess inside. I guess it is a little bit of a floppy bag. This is once again, personal preference. If you're someone who likes your tote bags to sit up straight, so it's easy for you to go through your things inside, then this tote bag can be a little bit annoying. The size can just collapse into itself. But I guess that's also a very easy thing to rectify with a bag organizer. The other thing that could be a con is that it is not a very versatile bag. In my opinion, it is an exclusively daytime casual tote bag. So it is definitely not a bag that you can transition into the evening or a bag that you can use for other occasions other than a very casual tote bag. But at this price point, do we really even care. Next bag could be a little bit of a controversial one because some of you guys may think that this is not high-end or luxury at all but I think this brand is still a luxurious brand for their niche and I'm talking about the Lululemon everyday belt bag. Mine is in the black nylon in the smaller size. I believe these come in two sizes. This is the smaller one and there is a larger one as well. Lululemon is one of those luxurious brands when you're talking yoga wear, active wear. I feel like they are probably one of the most high-end brands that you could go for. Yes, they are not bag brands. This is why I said controversial, but I had to include this bag in this list because even as a high-end luxury bag lover, I really have been loving this bag. I have been using this a lot as an everyday errand running bag, a very carefree one. Because it is fully in nylon, in black, you could just throw this around, nothing will happen to it. I've had this for over a year and it looks immaculate. I love how lightweight it is. I also love the compartments inside. So you've got the one large compartment, this mesh pocket at the back, two smaller mesh pockets at the front, and you also have a back zipper pocket. For such a compact bag, that is a lot of organizational features and I usually wear it as a sling across the body like that. I don't really love the whole belt bag look, so I usually just use it as a crossbody sling bag. I love that look. And since I've had my baby, I told you guys time and time again that I've been dressing a lot more casually than previously. So this bag has been getting a lot of use. Considering its small size, it fits a ton. I guess it is pretty relevant relaxed in terms of style so it can really expand depending on how much you fit in it and even when you pack it full it stays pretty slim so it lays pretty comfortably on your body unlike some bulky designs that feel like they're not really sitting on your body properly this one feels so seamless on your body so this has been one of my absolute favorite everyday bags and this one only retails for 59 Australian dollars or 38 US dollars and I highly recommend this as a good everyday bag. The biggest con that I have noticed after using this for a good while is it's zipper opening actually. The zipper goes really low to the side so when you are wearing it and open it the bag actually tends to flop open really wide. So if you're not mindful, your things can fall out of it. So I almost feel if they made the zipper opening to end a little higher, it would have been a better design. I'm not sure why they made the zipper opening so low. I guess the excess is really comfortable this way, but being a flexible nylon bag, I really don't think it needed to open that wide. Even if it opened up to here, it would have been really easy to access your things inside the bag anyway, but it's really not a big deal for me. So when I wear it, I usually don't open it all the way down, but I open it to the corner there and just grab my things. So not a big deal, but it is something to note. And I guess the other con is that it is not the most versatile bag. Again, this is an exclusively casual bag. There is no way you're going to be able to dress this bag up, but at $38, it just needs to do what it's supposed to do, doesn't it? It is an excellent everyday carefree bag. I wanted to style this bag really casually for you guys. So I've actually styled it with the cream striped knitted top, but this time I just paired it with plain black leggings. These are my favorite leggings from Lululemon. This is such a great everyday outfit. And of course I'm wearing some sneakers to finish off this casual look. 
So these are currently my most used affordable luxury bags in my collection. I would love to know if you guys have suggestions on some other brands or styles that I should try out. I would love to hear from you because I always learn about new styles from you guys, which is one of the reasons I love this community so much. Thank you once again, Lily Silk, for sponsoring part of this video. I've left links to everything I featured in this video down below in the description section and my discount code. So don't forget to check out Lily Silk items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.